So many people have been asking me what settings I use in Bloodstrike. So in today's video, I'm going to have a look at the graphics settings, but also the sensitivity settings. These things will be mainly applicable for PC players, but if you are playing on mobile, don't worry, I also put in some settings for mobile players. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And if this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. So here are my graphic settings in the game. We have quality mode on custom, we have FPS on ultra, and ultra gives you 240 FPS. If you have put it on high, it will go to 144, and if you put it on standard, it will go to 60 FPS. So depending on the refresh rate of your monitor, you want to pick one of these options. Display mode should always be on full screen. Graphics quality can be on anything you prefer. I have it on ultra because my computer can run it, but if you do have a low end device, then you should definitely lower this. I have my FOV on 90, which is the max setting. This is so you can see as much as possible. If I would turn this down, it would basically mean that you're going to see less of the sides. You see that? But anyway, let's turn that back on. Display weapon customization is actually an option that you should just have on all weapons, unless you actually don't want to see other skins and the attachments on the games, which could save you some frames. The filter is for me on Vivid. If this is too bright for you, then maybe try the default mode or the candid one. The cold mode feels very, very weird, so I wouldn't recommend that one. Detailed animation is off. The reason why I turn this off is because this will actually clutter my screen more. But if you do like more information on your screen, like the name of your teammates and stuff, you should definitely turn this back on. As for my sensitivity settings, I have switch on ADS, I have a fixed speed, and then I have universal sensitivity presets on custom. We have advanced mode off, and then no ADS steering I have on 4D. Now, if you don't know what no ADS steering means, this is basically the camera speed of which you move. So if I turn this up, basically I'm going to be able to like flick super fast. You see that? This is actually like way too fast, but uh, some people actually play like this. So if you are looking to turn faster with your mouse or even with like your fingers on mobile, you should try to turn this up and that should help you out. So for the sensitivity settings, what you want to do is you want to go to modifying your weapon and then you can actually choose the scope that you like to use. So let's say I want to have a 4x scope on my AK. I'm going to save that to my backpack and then when I go into my settings, it will actually tell me which scope I'm using right now. And as you can see, 4x scope in use and then you can actually adjust it lower or higher, whatever you prefer. You should try to do this for each and every scope to your liking. Me personally, I have pretty much everything on the default settings because I like having the same sensitivity for all of my scopes. Because for me, it helps me stay more consistent. And these are the PC settings. Now, for mobile players, don't worry, I got you covered. Here are some of the sensitivity settings and graphic settings from a friend of mine. I will put the details on the screen as well. Okay, you can also do some other settings on your PC, which can help improve your frames in Bloodstrike. Now, I'm going to go over them very, very quickly. These are some of the tips that I've used in the past for other games like Fortnite and Apex Legends to improve my frames. And it could possibly help you increase your frames in Bloodstrike as well. So for the first setting, we are going to hop into the graphic settings of Windows. So I am going to click on the Windows bar and I'm going to type in graphic settings. Now, it will pop up like this. And as you can see, you can add a program to get max performance out of your graphics card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Browse. I'm going to click on Bloodstrike, add the program, and then we're going to click on Options. Graphic Preference, what do you prefer for graphics performance? Then you can choose. For me, I'm going to click on High Performance and I'm going to select my GPU as well. So that is good to go. This is one step that you can do so you can make sure that Bloodstrike actually gets max performance out of your graphics card. Now something else that you can do and this is only for people that have an NVIDIA graphics card is you can right click onto your desktop, you can go to NVIDIA control panel and then we are going to go into the manage 3D settings over here. Once you click into this you can go to program settings and over here I'm also going to add Bloodstrike. Now I've already done this so you can just copy the settings that I have over here. So I will zoom in so you guys can just uh, copy over and you can just pause the video whenever you want to make sure that you get the good settings.
Now, these are just my personal settings. Some of you might agree, some of you might disagree. This is what I've been using, not only for Bloodstrike, but also for other more heavier games. And I have always felt an increase in performance and no longer FPS drops. So I hope this helps you out. Also, you might want to check change resolution because some of you guys might be playing on a high refresh monitor, but you might not have it enabled. So for me personally, I have 1920 by 1080 and then I'm playing on 240 Hz. Also, you want to check the refresh rate of your monitor and based off of that, you want to choose the setting in game. So for me, I'm playing on 1920 by 1080 and 240 Hz. So I'm going to use the max setting of FPS in Bloodstrike. Something else that I really, really like about the NVIDIA control panel is that you can adjust the colors of your monitor. What do I mean by this? Well, if you go to adjust desktop color settings, you can actually make the game look more vibrant, okay? This will only be visible to you on your monitor. So if you actually up this value over here, digital vibrance, you will have a more vibrant looking game, even more than it already is. Some people might like this, some people don't. It's up to you. Definitely would recommend trying it out. And that's it. These are my graphic settings. These are my sensitivity settings. I also should mention that I'm playing with a mouse of 800 DPI. So if you are on the same DPI, these settings might actually be similar to what you like.